Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and today we're going to fly an RC plane. And this is an RC plane that is perfect for any of you that are watching this who fly drones or maybe don't fly anything and you want to get into the RC plane hobby so you want a ready to fly kit. See up here I'm writing RTF. All beginners should look for an RTF kit ready to fly. That means you get the plane, you get the battery, you get the battery charger and you get the controller which a lot of you call a remote which in the RC hobby we call it a transmitter or a radio. Now I'm going to tell you right from the start, based on the specs, I have not flown this, but based on the specs of this kit, it's actually really decent. You know, they didn't skimp on anything. So let me tell you about it. Starting at the front, there's a six inch prop in the front. However, it's not your normal six inch prop. It is from the FPV drone hobby. So you can go on Amazon and buy as many six inch props as you like, which are dirt cheap and you'll always have replacement props. So you don't have to worry there. Next thing is the motor. It's a brushless motor. And once again, I think they took it from the FPV hobby because it's a powerful, I think it's 2300 KV brushless motor. That is a typical motor off an FPV drone and normally on an FPV drone when you're flying around you get maybe five minutes of flight time so since there's only one motor vice four you're gonna get four times as much flight time so you can get on the included battery it comes with a battery it comes with a two cell battery on this battery you can get a minimum of 20 minutes of flight time that's crazy they say you can go up to 25 minutes if you take it easy but minimum 20 minutes that's a long flight time and you can order this plane with one battery or two batteries and it does come in green silver Silver and white. Now, if you're looking at this plane and you're going, that kind of looks like something I saw in a World War II movie, you would be correct because it is a Japanese plane. It's called the Ki-84. I call it the Kai-84. The claim to fame with this plane for beginners is it says right on the box and in the instructions, it has a very low stall rate. Second thing is it has three flight modes on the remote. So you have 6G flight mode, which means when you're flying, it's not going to flip over. It's going to stay quite stable. There's even a barometer built in, so it should stay pretty darn stable in the air when you're flying. You just have to turn it so it comes back to you and fly it around. It also has a 3D mode. However, the 3D mode on here is a 3D button mode. In other words, you're flying and you go, look at me, guys. <laughs> you press a button. It does this or it does this. So that's pretty cool. So you put in 3D mode, press a button, and it does all the crazy little things, and it looks like you're a pro. Then finally, when you learn how to fly really well and you don't need any assistance, there's a manual mode. You can just fly it like a normal RC plane, which is pretty sweet. Now, when I got this plane, it was a bit of a head scratcher because most remotes you get with a ready to fly plane are about 150 meters, sometimes 200 meters. This one's half a kilometer, 500 meters. Why would anybody make a remote to control a plane 500 meters? And then I read the instructions more and apparently there is an SBUS slot on here that you can attach a GPS. I have no idea about the GPS. I have no information. Anyways, if you know more about that, post it below for the benefit of everybody because I'm sure there's some beginner out there going, I'd love to get that with a GPS. And the final thing to say about this plane is a lot of beginner planes you buy that are very small in size, they might have one or two servos on it, but this is built like a real RC plane. So you get a servo for each aileron. So one servo, another servo, plus you get a servo for the elevator and a servo for the rudder. How does it fly, you ask? Well, that's what we're gonna find out here. Just wanna show you my environment here. So this Ace Pro on my hat cam, if I look down, we see our plane down here, our transmitter. Well, watch this when I start to rotate around. Look at this. You see, we had warm weather last week and everything melted, all the snow melted, but now we have freezing below sub-zero temperatures and all that melted snow, which was water, is now back to ice. So what does this mean for everybody watching? This means when I fly this baby, I'm probably just gonna hand toss it because I don't know if I have a good takeoff spot unless I take off from the ice, but to land it, ooh, this is gonna be scary, very scary. All right, as you can see, I'm walking on ice down here. I've placed the plane out on the ice. I'm gonna try to launch it uh, you know, like a takeoff on the ice. I think it'd get up in the air pretty quick. There's no wind today, so, well, let's just hope it gets up in the air quick. Okay, for this first flight, I'm not putting any camera on it because I don't know how it's gonna fly. I don't know how the CG is and anything, but I am gonna put connect the battery, so I just take the cover off. It's really easy. Inside, I'll take my Ace Pro here. I'll show you what it looks like inside. You can see our battery's back here. We just connected into the JST connector. You can see some servos down there. Before we connect our battery, you wanna put this joystick to the bottom and power on your remote, and then let's just connect our battery here there we go battery's plugged in now since this does fly for over 20 minutes i don't think i'll need a second battery i think one battery is sufficient for this review so now that it's connected you want your remote and the plane to be connected so i'm just gonna move out of the way it's usually just means take your left joystick go up down 
listen for a beep i got two beeps i see solid lights you may not see it in my gopro but there's solid lights there so everything should work next take my antennas push them out a little bit Ooh, my hands are cold up here i've marked everything on my remote this is for 3d flights if you want to roll left roll right you want to do a loop you want to fly level those are all right there and up here on the top this is your very important little uh switch three-way switch it says if you push it all the way forward you'd be in manual flight mode the center is 6g and three beeps i guess is 3d hopefully i have that sticker correctly or hopefully i'm reading that sticker correctly <laughs> let me show you the surface areas on here so we have our ailerons right left right left they're all set up at the factory so you can't get them wrong that's good if i go to the rear we will have our elevator here i want to go up and i want to go down and then for the motor i don't believe there is a throttle hold so if i just push up the left joystick spins very quiet but it's one of these motors here i'm just going to hold the plane it's one of these motors that it spins up slow and then goes fast so i'll move this see that slow and now it's fast so it goes up slow and fast not too noisy though that's good all right so let's uh, fly it okay i think i have it on 6g which is in the center and uh, let's go i'm just gonna gun it with lots of power take it up and i'll fly it around here try to keep it out of that sun here we go Whoa, you know what? Lady Luck was on my side there because it was heading right for my little uh, camera bag. <gasps> Anyways, I'm flying it. This is 6G. There we go. It's uh, flying with stability. So in other words, if I handed this to a three-year-old child, they should be able to fly it. It doesn't uh, take much input or effort on my part. So what I'm going to do is get in the camera. I love that yellow on the wings in the front. It looks gorgeous. Let me walk over here. I don't really have to pay attention much to the plane because it's flying itself pretty much. Zooming by, there we are, in the sun. But you get the idea, whoa, I have to go way up. There's trees there. <laughs> See, in the sun, I'm blinded. Oh, I hate the sun in the mornings. It's so right in, the, right in your face. Okay, come down, there we go. Nice, 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 look at that. And then, yeah, there. See, I'm on a nice turn now. I'm going to see how slow I can get it to go because I know beginners don't like to fly fast. So I'm like putting along here. This is putt-putt mode. I don't think it has a pup putt mode, but it certainly seems like it. Look at this thing. I'm just turning around me in super slow speed and it's not stalling. This is pretty decent. Oh yeah. So definitely designed for beginners. All right. So let's try the next mode, which would be 3D mode. Okay. There's three beeps. It's in 3D. So now... I just learned when it's in 3D mode, it does not fly itself. Do not look away from the plane like I did. <laughs> Mayday, mayday, we have crashed. Let's go and see how, what kind of condition it's in. Oh, what did I lose? My canopy. How strong is this plane for crashing? Did a little cartwheel, so this came off. It's still ready to go. Put that back on. Pull this out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a perfect plane. There's no damage. Oh, there is on the back. I have to glue that, and I didn't bring any glue with me, I don't think. So right here, this little piece of plastic has to fit into here. So I have to put some CA glue on that, and that will fix it, but uh, no damage anyplace else. So I learned there that when you put it in 3D mode, I thought it would continue on level flying uh, in 3D, but it didn't. It just said, hey, if you're not touching the joysticks, I'm falling out of the sky, and that's what it did. So this is two hours later. I went home, I had breakfast, I put some glue on the horn in the back so it's all fixed and it should fly. And what I'm going to do this time for the flight is I'll put a little Insta360 Go camera up front so that you get some footage as I'm flying. And also, I will not take my eyes off the plane when I'm switching all the buttons because that's what happened last time. I got to keep my eyes on the plane. So here we go. Oh, oh, and I should also mention I'm going to hand toss this. I'm not going to launch it off the ground. I'm just going to throw it. So here we go. Okay, we're in stability mode, full throttle. There we go, throw it, and she flies, and the camera's on the nose. Let's bring it around. Now you get some footage of what it looks like looking back at the pilot. So I'm flying here. I don't have to try to get it in my hat cam as much as we're flying. Still flies very nice, very slow. There we go, there we are. Now, I know the switch is over on my right because I got to keep staring at the plate, and I'll put it in 3D mode. So let's see. 3D mode now. Hit a button now. There we go. It's doing that automatically. That's not me. So you should have saw a pretty cool video. And I can do one to the right as well. Let me just bring it nose down and I'll go to the right. Here we go. Where's the button? There it is. <laughs> oh, it's trying to do it. It's a very slow one. That was pretty cool. <laughs> bring it back. All right, so that's 3D mode. 
I'm gonna switch it back into uh, 6G. And let me just try manual mode here. Let me get it over top, and we're going to manual mode and see how it flies. Okay, so that's manual. I should be able to do flips myself. So I'm doing this myself. This is not the plane doing it. That was me doing that. So now, next thing I wanna do is uh, land it. So I've got all this ice out here. So let's bring it in from the river over here. Make sure I'm in stability mode here. I think I am. Oh, I'm in manual mode, hang on. There we go, I was flying in manual mode again. So the only way you know where the switch is is by listening, so watch this. One beep is manual, two beeps is stability, three beeps is back into your 3D mode. Take it out that direction, and let's bring it back. It's coming over me. And she's going on the ice over there. Oh yeah, we did a beautiful landing. That's pretty cool. This is the box your RC plane comes in. Inside the box, you'll find your instruction manual, a bag with your prop, landing gear and assembly screws, battery and USB battery charger, transmitter. Please note that my transmitter is a mode two transmitter, which means the throttle is on the left. The transmitter is powered by four AA batteries, not included. Next, you have the main fuselage of the plane and you will note that the motor, the graphics, the electronics, the servos, everything's already been installed. Then you have the main wings and you can see that the graphics and the paint job and the servos have already been installed. Next, you have the horizontal and vertical stabilizer. And finally, you have two removable fuel tanks. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this plane? Well, in 6G mode, anybody on the planet Earth with two opposing thumbs and two hands and eyeballs could probably fly this no problem. It's not going to thunder into the ground like this unless you take the joysticks and push it to cause it to do that. Pretty much you just keep them in the center and it's going to fly normal and just keep it going in the proper direction. Now when you put it in 3D mode, it will go from like this to maybe starting the bank a bit depending how your joysticks are on your controller. So just keep your eyes on it and you can keep it level and then you have to know where those little buttons are on your remote to press to get it to do all the cool things you needed to do because I couldn't even find them. Like they're, I kept thinking they're below the switches. No, they're way in the center. Like you get to get your brain used to it. I wasn't used to it. Then when you're in manual mode, while well, you fly it like a normal RC plane, you can do all the flips and rolls, everything yourself. You don't need any assistance from the plane. So all in all, I think it's really good for beginners because it will get you in the hobby to fly in 6G mode, give you a little bit of skills when you want to go into 3D. And then uh, as soon as you're ready, you go right into manual mode and you can fly any RC plane on the market after that. If you can fly this in manual, you can fly any RC plane on the market. So it's pretty good for that. All right, links to this product up below. I believe it's on the Banggood website. So with all that said, I say thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with many more cool product reviews. Until then, I say bye. <laughs>